Did you miss the coffee series? That's okay because here are my top 4 learnings. Number 1. Calories have no links to sugar spikes. Because black coffee with ghee and oat milk cappuccino both had 90 calories. But black coffee with ghee did not increase my blood sugar levels and oat milk cappuccino gave me a 28 mg increase. So whenever I'm eating or drinking something, it's very important for me to know where the calories are coming from. Proteins and fats low sugar spikes, carbs and sugars high sugar spike. Number 2. From now on, whenever I'm making homemade hot coffee, I'm going to use 2 thirds milk and 1 third water. Normally I do 50-50. Because homemade hot coffee had given me a 26 mg increase and a cappuccino from Starbucks had given me an 18 mg increase. Much lower. And both of them had the same milk and the same amount of sugar in it. It's just that the cappuccino had more milk. Number 3. If I want to have a lactose free option, I should ideally avoid oat milk. Because a regular cappuccino gave me an 18 mg increase and an oat milk cappuccino gave me a 28 mg increase. And all because I changed the milk to oat milk. And that's why I should go for almond milk or soy milk. Because they should give me a lower spike than this because they're lower on carbs and higher on proteins and fats. And finally, I must remember to be present and stress free when I'm eating or drinking anything. Because stress actually managed to increase the sugar spike from 28 mg to 34 mg increase. That's 20% more. And it took much longer for my blood sugar levels to come back to normal also.